hello everyone. Um, we are very excited about uh, today where we will celebrate uh, the champions of 2015. Um, I'd like to ask if all of you can hear us, if you can, before we get started, if you could please indicate in the chat box um, if you can hear us well. And um, I see that the number of champions are increasing as we speak. Um, but if you could please indicate that you can hear us so we can get started as soon as possible. Um, I see that many of you are getting ready. Marjorie, um, I can see that you're raising your hand. We will allow for questions later, but I assume that raising your hand at this point means that you can hear us. So thank you so much. Um, I will also check in the chat box if there is any comments. Um, not so far. Um, yes, we can hear you. Great, excellent. Thank you so much. So we are extremely excited about today. We've been waiting for this opportunity um, to celebrate the great work that you have been done over the past months. Uh, the champions of 2015, you've been amazing. Uh, we will go in. We have um, a graduate hat for all of you. Yay! <laughs> and uh, we are very, very excited. What we will do today is to run through a little bit of all the work that you've been doing over these past months. Um, and we will recognize each of you for your tremendous efforts in promoting women's economic empowerment. And uh, we will not be able to show everybody's single, your 60 people, everybody's contributions, but we'll just show a snapshot of the work that you've been doing. And I just want to emphasize that this is not the end of you being a champion for women's economic empowerment. This is just the beginning. It's the, the first step of being a champion. And you probably, and we hope to hear from you, learned a lot. Um, we learned a lot from you through your stories and articles, your I Am Woman stories, and your engagement on social media. So we will um, talk a little bit about all these efforts that we have noticed. Um, and then we will give you an opportunity towards the end to give us feedback and also what has been your experience over the past uh, six months. So um, I will enable... Um, our regional coordinators to say a few words um, and I would like to call upon Emad first uh, from Cairo. Emad, could you give a little bit of your sentiment over the past six months of the contribution of this group of champions? Um, hi everyone, this is Emad Karim um, uh, based in Cairo. And I, um, I did really have the pleasure to work with an amazing team from the Arab State region and from the Asia and Pacific. Um, it was a great experience for me myself to be inspired by your passion and about your commitment to gender equality and to do more for uh, to work with empower women, but also to do actual work on the field. Um, I'm very grateful for my uh, my team, especially here in Cairo, that have been uh, really helping us with a lot of our activities at UN Women Activities, uh, especially Mahmoud and Noura um, uh, and all the team from Cairo, uh, Yusuf in, in Morocco, uh, who have been a great uh, he for she champion. Um, but there's also a lot of them in, uh, in Pakistan, in India, that they have been uh, trying to do a lot of amazing job. And, uh, and I know that your passion and, and effort was kind of limitless. Uh, we just the one that have some uh, limits with time and resources. And uh, probably I'll just apologize if we couldn't really be there all the time for you. Uh, but we're really proud of all of your work and being part of the championship and to uh, hopefully to stay in touch with us and keep doing the great work that you do. Thank you so much, Ahmad. And I'm sure we will hear the same from Jack, um, same excitement and, and uh, appreciation to the champions in Eastern and Southern Africa. Jack?
Um, hi everyone, it is um, a great pleasure and um, I, I really uh, appreciate the graduating champions uh, for the work they have been able to do for the last six months uh, because we have had very innovative uh, engagements, especially with champions in my region, some of them engaging in agriculture, food and nutrition, and uh, and also in in other areas and and, and it's been interesting um, uh, seeing how you contribute uh, to offline events and even to online events and some of you who also have been participating in our uh, events at the regional level especially here in Kenya um, I really want to appreciate your efforts for um, everything that you have been doing in terms of even contributing stories to our movement and also to, uh, to uh, several articles that link to regional events. It's really been a great pleasure and uh, we look forward to you also supporting uh, even the new champions in terms of uh, uh, mentoring and also in terms of uh, uh, contributing uh, to several platforms that uh, can advance what we do at Empower Women. So it's, it's been a great pleasure and congratulations for graduating today. Thank you so much, Jack. And uh, thanks for bringing up the point of mentor mentorship of other champions. We will uh, talk about that a little bit towards the end on what's next and what are the opportunities for all the champions to continue to engaging with us. So I will now ask Yebe from Western and Central Africa to um, say a few words. Yebe? Hello champions and congratulations to all of you. Thank you for being so active online and offline over the past month and mostly for remaining engaged and spreading the word for Empower Women. Um, from my perspective, the high region are mainly um, offline activities. Although we receive inspiring stories from, from Togo, Nigeria, Canada, and we heard of different presentations in different countries. Um, it was my actually my first uh, round of champions that I had to manage and I really enjoyed the experience. So thank you for being so engaged and I uh, really enjoyed hearing stories from young girls, uh, from empowering young girls in, in Ghana, from converting rural women to the use of clean energy in Nigeria and from, um, from Lisbeth in, in Haiti who is very engaged and who is trying to raise awareness among the youth of their potential of changing their country. So um, I really enjoyed the experience and I'm really grateful that I had to work uh, with a dynamic team. Uh, I will maybe just summarize what I just said in French quickly for two people I think that do not speak English. Donc comme je l'ai dit au nom de l'équipe de Empowerment, j'aimerais vous remercier de votre engagement en ligne et en ligne au cours de ces derniers mois et surtout d'avoir fait connaître Empowerment à votre entourage et votre communauté. Au sein de notre région, nous avons eu beaucoup d'activités hors ligne qui ont été vraiment mémorables à mes yeux. Nous avons reçu des histoires formidables et inspirantes du Togo, du Nigeria, du Canada. Nous avons eu écho aussi de plusieurs présentations qui se sont passées dans différents pays sur euh, Empowerment. Euh, ça a été ma première fois en fait d'avoir de, 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 une équipe de champions que je devais superviser et j'ai beaucoup apprécié cette expérience. Donc je vous remercie vraiment de votre engagement et de votre Thank you so much, Yebe, for also summarizing this in, in French, which actually reminds me that many of the members that are Francophone online might appreciate that we are very, very close to uh, launching the French version of Empower Women. So just uh, be patient and very, very soon we will send out a message that announces the availability of the French version where you can engage in um, discussions and contribute in French and read the material in French. So but thank you so much also, Yebe, for having worked uh, very hard on that. Um, I think we have another regional coordinator with us, Miral. Um, since she recently started, she hasn't been mentoring a particular group of champions. Uh, Miral, do you want to say something anyway, or do you want to prefer to come in towards the end. Well, now that you open the scene, I have to say something. <laughs> <laughs> you can say something uh, towards I, the end if you wish. <laughs> but, uh, 
I think you have been observing the activism of our champions, so you might want to say something. Exactly, exactly. And I'm very, very much interested and excited by this engagement, by this volume of engagement. And this is my first round, uh, so we will, I guess, all learn together on this. Thank you, Miral. And Miral will be going forward covering Europe and, and Central Asia. So uh, if any of you are from, from that region, uh, you might uh, stumble upon her in, in your efforts. So I will now ask Diana to just quickly run through. We've taken some screenshots of some of the contributions uh, through blog, through I Am Woman, through discussions, offline, online, social media, etc. So. Diana will um, show some of the glimpses of the, the, this group of champions' contributions. Well, I would like to salute all the champions. Congratulations. It's been a pleasure to work with you, an active group, very supportive, engaged, and ready to share their knowledge, encourage concrete action for women economic empowerment. I also had a great pleasure and opportunity to closely collaborate with a group of champions from Europe and Central Asia, Canada and USA. And from my side, I would like to thank all of you for, you know, just for your openness to do this grand work. It's a volunteer base and you, you put your effort, time and your energy and your soul in your personal project and is really inspiring. We had great blog contributions. We had tens and twenties of I am woman stories and each of them are very special to us and uh, we have so many you know inspiring stories that we can repeat over and over when we go and present empower women and when we go and you know just make people aware about women economic empowerment and what they can do in simple terms to just you know, be closer to the gender equality and to make our work, our work together, more important. A lot of you uh, contributed to our library with different helpful resources that over them are used by other members of our community. You've been very active in our e-discussions and thank you for joining all of them. Either it was organized discussion, either it was opened by you, our members, of a community and you know just to be um, very active and to see this movement between you your support to each other is very important you probably already seen through our empowerment at work that our community is growing every day we now have over 10,100 members registered member and we are very proud of this we have over 10, 12,000 followers on Twitter and 10,000 likes on Facebook and I have to say that it's because of you as well, because of your active engagement, because of following us, retweeting, just shouting about our activities and we are thankful for every action you had offline and online, uh, either this was within school, either this was within your company, your community, either this was with a video or this was with a story. It's just been a pleasure to work with all of you. Thank you so much, Diana. And I want to say that Diana was giving the figures of today, but I can say that many of these figures have doubled since you started. So. We really appreciate that without your content, without your engagement, these other members would not have joined. So we appreciate very, very much um, your support and your engagement, and I hope that you learned as much as we have. So we have run through uh, most of the presentation. So we'd like now to open up the floor for you to give us feedback. Um, what has been your experience in the past um, months, what worked well for you, and what do you think we should be doing more of? And also, we are open to suggestions on how we can improve your experience and groups of champions um, that will be joining us in the future. How can we um, better um, support their experience and and um, um, and help you all to to be um, active and both in your communities and 
um, online. So we'll open up. Um, you are free to raise your hands. Uh, those who have your hands um, at this point, we will ask you to unmute um, your microphones um, and give us some feedback. You're also welcome, of course, to give feedback in writing, but this is also an opportunity for you to speak to the group. And I see now, um, Diana, you sit closer to the screen. Can you see? Uh, so we'll unmute you, and if you have any comments to, to make at this point. Vrajiha, you may speak. I, I actually think we lost connection with Rajka. Maybe a question. So let's go to... Um, we probably will take some comments from question and answer box, but um, if you would like to speak, please raise your hand. Um, a comment is more a suggestion, I guess, for the future to translate um, all the information for the ch uh, champions. Um, thank you for your suggestion, Tiffany. We will do take this into consideration. And as Anna was mentioned earlier, uh, we soon will be launching the Empower Women platform in French. So you will be able to, all of the members in our community who are the speakers of French language will be able to access the information in regards to opportunities, in regards to the news, in regards to the events already in, a Fr in French language. Great. And I think uh, Rita has um, asked to speak. So Rita, we are um, opening up for you to speak. We are unmuting your uh, microphone. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, Rita. Yeah, good afternoon. Can you hear me? Yes, very well. Yes, um, once again, I want to use this opportunity to thank you for giving me the chance and uh, to work um, to be a champion. For the past six months, it's been very challenging going to my local community to gather the women together. Uh, because I actually worked in agriculture, where I had to give out um, the new cassava stems to the farmers free and the chibas free. So it was a little bit challenging coordinating all these women together, the stakeholders, the chiefs and all of that together, the women, and then bringing people from the Ministry of Agri and Harvest Plus to come in and speak with the women why they should plant this cassava. So what I would like to say to this Empower Women team is for the next champions, if they can assist maybe small stipends in terms of logistics, where it will be able to aid us for us to reach um, a wider coverage. So far, it was really nice, and then I would like to do more. So thank you for this great opportunity. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Rita. Um, we completely understand um, the frustration of not having access to funding. Um, we will look into this in the future and uh, see if there is anything we can do. But from the team side, um, we are very resource constrained um, in general, and we hope that 
there are things and we know that there are things that we can do um, that doesn't necessarily re require funding. But thank you so much for this recommendation and we will um, certainly look into it. There is one question regarding the um, um, not published yet blogs where I am woman stories. Thank you for being so active uh, during even the you know last days of your championship and sending different blogs and the I am woman stories. As you probably noticed, we have a schedule and we have um, a timeline, and we try to um, match the events happening with SDG calendar and international UN international days. And this is how we choose the blogs and the I am woman stories. Um, Please feel free to send a reminder if you want that blog or I am Woman Stories to be published, uh, you know, re just uh, this week or uh, next week. But other than that, please be assured that we will uh, publish it very soon and it will go um, into production until the end of the year. Thank you so much, Diana. I see that uh, Tiffany fine um, has made a comment in, in French here um, that the the fact of being a champion has allowed the re more research into the area of women's economic empowerment I'd like to ask all of you what are your plans have have this period of um, championship enabled you to do more of this in your communities um, has it enabled you to open up any job opportunities in these areas? Or what, what are you planning to do? I mean, we hope that you would not um, cease to be active on the platform. But what, do you have ideas on how you can take this to the next level? And while you think about that, um, I see Sheila, thank you so much. The support of Empower Women team has been spectacular, particularly understanding how very stretched your few resources were. Yes, Sheila, and we are um, actually now in discussion also with the Government of Canada and see how we can extend the project um, over the next few years. Um, so we have started that discussion and we hope that that would enable us to um, get a bit more funding that we can also support um, people like Rita, champions like Rita, with a little bit of uh, seed funding. Um, going forward. Yes, it is certainly a new day in Canada. We've been observing the, the outcome of the elections and uh, maybe Sheila, do you want to say something about that? Um, the response of your, of your Prime Minister to the question of uh, why are you so dedicated to gender equality and, and women's empowerment? Um, do you like to say a few words? Sure. So let me see. I will unmute your microphone. Please feel free to speak. Yes, uh, we are uh, really excited. Sheila, we can't really hear you. Can you speak a bit louder? Sure. Can you hear me now? Uh, slightly better, but if you could sit maybe closer to the microphone. OK. Yes, we are very excited about uh, what the possibilities are moving forward. I'm sure the entire Canadian champions that may be on the uh, session this morning are as well thrilled with the numbers of our representation with the recent election. And we know that the connections we have made over this last few months are only going to be stronger and only going to be more active as we move forward. And I'm thrilled to be able to support, however I can, the uh, continued uh, financial support uh, as well as uh, engagement across uh, Canada in using the EmpowerWomen.org uh, resources to make change a reality across the world. Because it's 2015. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes, for sure. And I think he soon need to amend that because it's soon 2016. But basically, <laughs> just to sum up to what Sheila shared with us, the response by the Prime Minister in Canada to why he's so dedicated to gender equality 
and women's empowerment is because it's 2015. So we love that statement, and I guess we need mm -hmm. need to update it to 2016. But thank you so <laughs> yes. much Lisa, for sharing that. And I see that Yelena second what you're saying. And Yelena, would you like to say something as well? Sure. So we will now unmute your microphone. Please feel free to speak. Hi, everyone. Yelena here. Uh, I just wanted to quickly second Sheila's sentiment. Um, thank you again to the Empower Women team for providing such guidance and mentorship for most of us who have never done something like this before. Um, I, of course, want to be involved and engaged uh, now that the term is over. Um, obviously, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to make time for it, but it's definitely something I'll work towards. And um, yes, we're very proud of our Canadian government showing um, some kind of leadership in guiding towards getting all the nations to provide gender equality, whether in the cabinet, in the government, or other areas. So um, yes, very excited for things to come. And hopefully, the government will provide you with the funding that you need. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, we can see also that FASIHA, um, Empower Women, has provided the platform to think more and do more for the women around the world, and not only for our respective regions. Uh, Fasia, do you want to elaborate a little bit on that? I don't want to put you on the spot, but maybe uh, you'd like to say something? <laughs> okay, thank you so much. I'm opening your microphone. Hello. Hi, Fasia. Hello, everyone. How are you? Great. Thanks for joining. Thank you, thank you. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, to all the champions that when you start uh, working over your championship time period, you will realize that it is actually not for six months. It, it is for, it is a cause that you will start working for and you will uh, get to know that there is so much that you can actually do in this regard. Uh, you do not have to uh, look upon the economic empowerment. When you talk about economic empowerment, there are so many factors that are involved in it. And you start uh, you know, thinking that uh, things can be changed this way, that way, and um, through, through, uh, through many ways. So I got to uh, learn so many things during my championship uh, time period. And uh, it even changed my perspective that how I want to see my future. I think it is a cause that will uh, continue for a lifetime. And not only for the lifetime, it will also uh, uh, you know, impact every step that I take in my life. And I think uh, this how it, uh, it will affect you if you take it so seriously. And uh, good luck to all the champions, all the new champions. Do uh, as much as you can. And uh, everyone uh, need to support each other. Thank you. Thank you, Fasiha. I would like to mention also that we appreciate that you, in our previous communication you agreed to continue, contribute, um, um, you know, frequently with a blog post. So we are looking forward for new contributions and we are looking forward to share these interesting blogs from Pakistan um, with our community and with entire UN Women community as well. Thank you so much, um, both of you, and I, I completely agree. Once you open up your eyes for gender equality, then you can't really, you know, go backwards. So it is an, a great opportunity. I had that uh, revelation myself um, many years back, but once you see the, the discrimination and the, the biases in, in society, you can't just close your eyes for it again. So we really hope that all of you will continue with open eyes and uh, tackle the world as best as we can uh, to improve for all the women and men out there that are um, affected by gender inequalities. Um, I see that um, Rayal, um, sorry for the pronunciation, has made a few comments, and I know that you had a little bit of a problem with the connections, but maybe um, it has improved and you'd like to say a few words? I have opened up the microphone. 
I see you have a few comments here. Okay, the connection might still not be, be good. Um, any other one that would like to, you can raise your hands um, if you have any comments. Any, any way that we can uh, improve your champion experience? I saw that you had, um, or, or Rita had a, a comment about the funding for some of your activities, but anything else that we can do to improve the experience? Okay, no comments about that. Um, and, oh, Marjorie. Um, I see you have your hand up. I'm opening up your microphone. Thank you. You have to unmute yourself on your end. Thank you. Oh, hello? Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> Very well, thank you. Okay, um, hello everyone. Good morning, afternoon, evening to everyone. Um, first of all, thank you guys for a wonderful opportunity to learn. I, I think I learned um, so much during my championship online and um, we had an opportunity to learn through a scholarship that was afforded to uh, quite a bit of us as well. So I, I really appreciate that opportunity as well. Um, my question, I, I think what I had um, is that in the United States, I, I don't know how much the United Nations has actually gained traction in trying to broaden the scope, but especially in my intermediate area, it's really hard to get people to talk beyond <laughs> um, a local scope. And so I wonder, like, what is the, uh, and first of all, for the people in Canada, you guys are like total rock stars. I was so excited. <laughs> be the prime step up and, and do so much, um, you know, as far as gendering, you know, equality and, and, and just fairness and, 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 you know, racial equity and so much. I mean, he just made a monster stand in, in about 10 different ways. So that's awesome. But I'm wondering, like, what types of talks are happening, you know, in the United States as far as, like, taking this message and and broadening the scope. I know that we're entertaining it, but I, I don't, you know, on a, on I guess a high level, um, um, you know, platform. Like, is there anything that's developing with the United States and partnerships and and initiatives where you know the representatives from America can have a more inclusive um, impact? Thank you so much, Marjorie. Before we uh, go into the discussion, could you just elaborate a little bit for the others what scholarship you were referring to um, and what you got out of that experience? Um, so maybe you could oh. talk a bit about that and then we can go into um, the debate. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, there was a uh, training. It was last month, I believe. Um, and there were about, well, it was two consecutive weeks of um, training around um, women's. It was a conference with about 50 plus subject matter experts and um, about four trainings per day that we could actually go live in or get the recorded messages. And I mean, there were so many respective uh, conversations and trainings that it's really hard to pick one in particular, but there were, you know, just hand-picked subject matter experts from around the world giving training on, you know, um, on different areas of, of growth for women and men in the areas of, you know, entrepreneurship, personal growth, um, um, even, even dealing with your own, you know, brand and your own businesses and you know, building your brand, which I enjoyed one in particular that was about building your personal brand. Um, and, and what I got from it was that, it, I mean, there's so many ways to look at um, growing because I, I even coming out of this, I mean, there's so many different directions that it's hard to choose one. Like it's, it's more like how do you make an impact and where do you intend to make an impact? It's like, wow, I want to do this and this and this and this. And so um, um, that's that's kind of, I don't want to go off on a tangent, but 
um, I got a lot of information from you know the respective trainings. It was just it was a lot of training about you know different, and you could choose which one. So it wasn't like mandated that you had to go to each and every one, but it was you know we had an opportunity to choose, and and most of them were very very interesting. So it wasn't you know if you had the time you could log in or you know they'd send the link so that you could actually go back in and get the information afterwards as well. Great. Um, I see that Layla was um, also put down a comment. Global Women's Leadership Summit. Um, it was an online summit, I, I guess. Um, and Layla, maybe you want to come in and say something about that before we go into um, a discussion on that Marjorie brought up. Layla, do you want to add something? Did you also participate in this summit? Leila, we have opened your um, microphone. If you'd like to add something. Oh, you think she summed it all up. Okay, great. <laughs> and I, on that point, um, I think Sheila is proposing to have a similar forum on the Empower Women platform. And this is very interesting because I think we've got that proposal from our new group of champions. They want to do some kind of online conference. So I think that it might be great to start thinking about this maybe after March. Uh, we are uh, heavily engaged in now in a redesign. I don't know if we have talked to you in the past about the redesign, but we have engaged uh, Price Waterhouse Coopers um, through a pro bono agreement to help us with the redesign of the platform. Many of you have participated in our numerous surveys to find out what uh, makes it easy for you to find th uh, things on, on Empower Women and what has been more challenging and what motivates you to be active on the platform. So we have started a redesign uh, process and sometime towards end of February we will engage all of you to start testing the new design so the champions is a special group for us because we see you as our friends and our colleagues and uh, we will ask you at that um, again to see um, if we we understood what you told us in all these surveys uh, correctly and if you find it uh, useful with the new design. So this is our preoccupation until March. Uh, we are planning to have an event together with the Government of Canada and PwC um, during the Commission on the Status of Women where we will launch this um, new design and uh, we also hope to have a room with um, broadcasting po possibilities so we can have the event uh, showcased to all of you who are not going to be in New York at that time. Um, so I think after we have um, done this with the new design in March um, will be the first release and in April will be our second release and we are very, very excited because there will be uh, a few new features. Uh, that would come along with it. Um, I won't go into any details now because then um, we go off topic, but uh, we can talk about that a, a different time. But I'd like to go back a little bit to um, Marjorie about what is being done in the US. Um, I think um, from my perspective, the gender equality is being we, we are engaged with uh, USAID, the White House, the State Department in many, many different ways. Um, for example, the US State Department um, has a visitors program and every time they come to New York, um, we engage with them, we showcase them Empower Women platform and uh, we present the topic of women's economic empowerment. This means that the um, government takes it very seriously. But I do agree that a statement similar to that of Canada would be very, very helpful um, to step up the, the visibility on of this topic on, on the political agenda as well. And uh, Hillary Clinton has made some efforts, but um, we will see, I think, with the election if something similar can come out of it. Um, I... 
we have uh, fluctuating internet connections. I'd like to ask before we continue with the presentation if there's anybody else that would like, like to say something. Rita, you still have your hand up. Do you want to say something again or is it you just haven't removed it from your previous intervention? Okay, so let us continue. Um, So what are we planning next and how can you get involved? Um, Diana, do you want to get started on this? Sure. Um, we now already started to work together with a new group of champions, 2015-2016 Global Champions for Women Economic Empowerment. This time, this is a bigger group, a little bit bigger, so <laughs> it's a bit of tendency from our side, but also um, we, we got so many, so many active uh, champions, I mean, prospective champions during the rally, so we decided to choose 75 uh, out of 800 um, applicants. So they started their championship uh, last week. It will be for the um, next five months. So um, one way to become engaged and to remain engaged with uh, empowerment.org is to become a mentor for current champions. Um, to be a mentor, it's not necessary, you know, to work hand in hand uh, with them and to kind of guide each step. If you have time and opportunity, this will be wonderful. But also, it means to share from your experience. We can organize future webinars or blue jeans or Google Hangout session, and you can share, you know, how did you get to a certain project idea? How did you visualize your work? How did you make the connection between what you do in daily life and your project for economic uh, empowerment and your, you know, your your activities. This is very important because probably you rem remember that at the beginning it was hard. Then you had your one-on-one -on -one activities and uh, meeting with uh, with a focal point and maybe a little bit of guidance, but to have that real experience and a real example will be very helpful. So if you would like to be engaged, we will share a Google form and uh, you will have an opportunity to register for these activities. The next opportunity is also to join um, the webinar and uh, uh, the um, e-discussion as an expert and as a uh, discussant. You can uh, tell us about your area of expertise. I know, for example, some of you work in marketing and advertising, and maybe you can, um, you know, um, build and create um, uh, your own um, a presentation about um, personal brand, about I don't know, negotiation uh, at work or maybe how to be active in your community, anything you want, anything you feel it will be interesting for champions and in general for our community. So if you have so, uh, such proposal, please feel free to contact us and uh, we will be able to work with you together with some other champions that have similar ideas, put together the presentation and organize this e-discussion or webinar or Google Hangout. Of course, we continue with our blog. We Inspire blog is just one year old, so we would like to develop it to come up with new topics, with maybe a series of uh, blogs on a specific uh, topic. We would like to have uh, uh, maybe some interesting did you know. Um, so if you would like to become a permanent contributor to We Inspire blog, please feel free to, to let us know and um, we will be happy to collaborate with you. And of course, um, we are always ready to engage and uh, and with you um, on our social media channels and um, 
We hope you will continue to be active and to share interesting information from uh, your perspective countries, also from, um, you know, interesting articles, activities, opportunities, events. Um, we will be glad to share them via our social media channels as well as through our event um, platform and uh, opportunities. And, and the list can continue, and the list can be suggested when we receive from you, and we will be happy to receive. So, And, of course, some of you still working on your personal projects. And um, if you feel this is a moment where we can engage with 2016 champions, maybe we can continue your own project in a different way, engaging some other champions. So, you know, as we say here, the sky is the limit, and um, we are looking forward to maybe brainstorm around these ideas and to see how we can go next, and in particular, how we can have this collaboration between um, graduating champions and um, champions that are doing uh, or performing their championship right now. Thank you so much, um, Diana. I think Sheila was uh, indicating that we are no longer sharing our screen. So um, let me just see, Diana. Hmm. Yes, um, sorry for that. I think there's a technical issue. But um, the audio is not clear. Okay, Salomato, I see that you've been trying to join. Um, would you like to say something? Oh, you can see here. So it's Salomato. Oh, Salamato doesn't have a microphone. That would be a little bit difficult then. Um, sorry for that, Salamato. If you have any comments, if you could please write it. It seems like there is no microphone for you. Um, but I would like to pick up on this comment by um, Diana on the mentorship. So we, what we were thinking, if you have the interest, is to set up a, a, a dedicated webinar, or if we are a group smaller than 30, we can also do a blue jean session, uh, where we can have, um, you have the opportunity to share a little bit of your experience to the new group of champions, and, um, and in that way connect with them. Um, they have created um, a Facebook um, page I think it's called, <laughs> um, and they are currently in the process of trying to define what their projects will be. Um, some will probably come up in teams, and if you're interested in joining them, since you have the experience of being a champion, that is another way that you can continue your engagement. Uh, the online summit conference is definitely something that we uh, will keep in mind. That could be a joint effort by all of the different groups of champions. Uh, but also you you might have, as Diana was saying, an area of expertise um, and or you know somebody who has an amazing area of expertise that they'd like to um, um, share with us. You could bring in the, the expert and yourself to do a co-presentation. There are so many opportunities um, for you. Oh, Miranda has been given the... So if you unclick that, maybe. Okay, change presenter. Um, if you have any of those um, ideas, um, we are all here and you know how to contact us. Um, just help. Okay, so I think we have um, reinstated the presentation. Something was happened um, technically, but I hope that you can see the screen. Um, can you confirm that you see the screen, please? 
Yes, thank you so much, Sheila. Um, so any any comments on this before we move on? And we also have any questions or anything else that you'd like to you stay on this slide um, that you have at this point. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Basiha. We already received our first uh, contribution to become a mentor. So Basiha says, I'm up for mentorship. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah, I think the new group of champions are very, very eager, but they might want to just get some uh, ideas on how to narrow down all their excitement into more concrete ideas. Um, we have Elisangela. Yeah, Elisangela says, I really appreciate it be a champion. It was a great opportunity to learn more about equality agenda and bring to Brazil new ideas. I just sorry to not have more Brazilian for the next championship. Oh, maybe this can be one, you know, one goal. Maybe we can, be, I don't know, come up with an idea and uh, do some activities online or uh, offline uh, um, specifically for Brazilian um, community so we can come uh, up with a group of champions from Brazil. Why not? <laughs> Thank you. So, Alisangela, uh, we might also uh, tell you that uh, while it will be a global campaign, we have engaged a Brazilian company to help us set up the campaign. Uh, they're also helping us pro bono. Um, and um, we hope that this campaign, uh, which will originate from Brazil, but um, basically, hopefully, explode throughout the world, um, to really bring attention to women's economic empowerment in 2016. Uh, this probably will also not start until um, after the redesign, um, but we will be seeking your ideas uh, for this campaign as well. And um, um, you, yes, we appreciate very, very much that you have been very supportive in responding to our surveys. So we have some ideas on how we can make a big splash in 2016 and bring this campaign um, to the global level. So um, I think that um, we also have Sheila that is interested in, in supporting our efforts. So thank you so much, hey. Sheila. Um, you can also um, email us, as you know how to contact all of us. Um, and uh, let us know if you have ideas going forward. But these are some, just as, as Diana was saying, the sky is the limit. Here's just some ideas that we put up for you to continue to be active. Um, but um, if there are no other questions or comments, I would like to ask anyone else in the team if you would like to say anything um, at this point, uh, morale maybe. Hello? Hi, Meral. Hello, hello, hello. No, a lot has been said. Uh, I, I can just, you know, confirm my excitement and my, my presence and uh, uh, because I think a lot has been said about how we will uh, move on this. Great. Thank you, Meral. Yabel, yeah, would you like to say something? You have to unmute yourself. Um, nothing in particular, but uh, I think that, as just um, Meral said, a lot has been said, and we heard that the champions were really also excited that they shared the same excitement as us uh, working with uh, the empowerment team. So we really hope that we'll still be in touch with all of you, and we'll be able to do much more with the new champions and with your help and new being mentors. Thank you. Thank you, Yeba. Um, Let's see if Ahmad has something to say at this point. You have to unmute your microphone. Thank you. Thanking all of them and um, to keep inspiring us and to 
who inspire the rest of the world and for their great work. And hopefully that they will stay in touch and see them somehow, somewhere. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Ahmad. <laughs> Um, Leila has a question, and yes, we received this question. We are just, um, uh, you know, looking to 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 find out more information about this. It's about uh, maybe participate. Yes, could the Women Deliver Conference in May 2016 in Copenhagen be an opportunity for at least some of us, perhaps in Europe, to get together? Um, you know, it's very hard to, to say, but uh, of course we will share this information with all the champions. And um, we had kind of similar questions from our 2016 global champions. And the question was, can we meet all together at Commission on Status of Women in New York 2016 March? Um, if we can, yes, we, if you want, yes, we want. If we can, it's a bit harder to say because um, our program, as we mentioned uh, prior to that, do not include the financial support for traveling and for specific <clears throat> training activities, all the trainings we are doing and we are held is online and we are trying to, you know, organize um, these activities through online um, also support through different organizations and our um, partners. So yes, we will look into this and we will share the information if this will be possible. And Fasiha, um, um, <clears throat> I apologize, we've had a little gap in, in uh, the regional coordinator for Asia Pacific. We will soon have um, a replacement uh, coming on board and we hope that that would also um, improve our presence of uh, opportunities for your region. So it's coming soon. Um, Yes, so if no further questions, um, we would like to thank all of you, congratulate all of you, and um, hope to see you online on social media. Many of you, I see you daily on social media, um, and on Empower Women, and we hope to see you there. We hope to hear from you. We hope to see your blogs, your engagement in e-discussions, and um, through the I Am Woman campaign. And uh, again, congratulations from all of us. We are very proud of you and you have made a tremendous contribution not only to empower women, but also to uh, bringing uh, women's economic empowerment uh, to your communities, both at the local, regional and global level. So thank you so much, everyone. <laughs>